It is women who grow the food, but they obviously don't grow enough. What is happening to these women farmers that causes them to grow less food each year? To find out, we are going to Burkina Faso on the southern edge of the Sahara Desert. Zenabu Bambara is a typical farmer. This is the third time I've planted this year because the rains are so late. I'm tired and my back aches. It's too much to manage on my own. Without the rain, the seedlings just burn up in the sun and we have to plant all over again. Look how dry the ground is. I'm Zenabu Bambra. I'm 28 years old and I have four children. The planting season is a hard time for women in our family. Usually, Mariama would be out in the fields helping me. But last night, she went into labor. So today, we have a new baby in the household. Mariama's baby is a girl, but she doesn't have a name yet. In eight days' time, there will be a special Muslim ceremony where the men will choose a name for her. But until that day, the other women will have more work. Our tradition forbids a mother to work until her baby is named. It's our way of allowing a woman to rest and get her strength back after the birth. But if one woman works less, the rest of us have more household work to do, as well as more work in the fields. My husband doesn't mind doing his share of the work on the land, but it is not a man's nature to help the woman with our other work. He would be too ashamed. He believes that our work is beneath him. Our family has all the land we need, but there's never enough time to cultivate it all properly. These fields are about 14 kilometers from the house, and the men and women work on them together. But we women have to cultivate the rest of the land without any help from the men. My husband is very strict, and he always makes sure that the planting and weeding in these fields is finished first. That means the other fields are never planted in time for the rain. I wish the men would help us more, but a woman can't force her husband to do anything. The work never seems to be finished. There are dark clouds gathering. If it doesn't rain soon, all my work will have been for nothing, and the seeds will be wasted again. Women have to walk to and from the fields, and it takes even longer on the days we collect firewood. But most of the men in the village have bicycles.
On some days, the sky darkens like this, and a hot wind blows dust into our eyes. But the rain just stays in the clouds. This is a cruel wind. Tomorrow, the land will be as dry as it is today. Today is the last day of Mariama's confinement. We are waiting for the men to begin the ceremony. They will pray to Allah for guidance in deciding what the baby's name is to be. Rasmatu is the name they have chosen for her. The men say Rasmatu will bring our family good fortune because she was born on Friday, a holy day for Muslims. What is good fortune? All I want is for the baby to grow healthy and strong. Another girl in the family to help with our work. I want the rains to come quickly and soak deep into the ground to make our millet grow. I want Mariama to be out working in the fields with me again. Laila, 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 Laila,